All right, guys, what is going on? Today's video, I'm going to give you three simple mods that you can do for free, actually, to make your Ram 1500 run faster at the drag strip. And uh, basically, you know, anytime you want, you want to go to the track, run down the track, and you know, you're not running your best, do these three easy mods. One mod, I'm going to explain to you why it's a little bit different to do, but it actually is still free. But the other two are 100% free, very easy, very simple. You do it, I guarantee you, you will go faster and improve your times. You may not want to do them because one takes a little bit longer to do, but it's still very simple, very easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. So um, before we get started on the video, guys, please pick up your Incredible Hemi merchandise. Help support the channel. We have t-shirts. We have hoodies. We have different designs, everything. There's going to be a link in the description to this video. The link in the description of the video for all your Incredible Hemi merchandise. Please help support the channel. And uh, I'm going to get started on the video. Let's, uh, let's get a cold start and a nice choppy here on that camera. Right, guys now the very first mod that is actually free i'm going to show you this is i don't have this in the truck i have a tra track intake i have a six four manifold i have a very highly modified ram if you're new to the channel this thing has ported heads j green cam j green tuned it it has everything done suspension works done the way it has a whole new uh, true track rear it is you know it's dropped two inches in the rear so we are nowhere near stock but for the stock guys this is what your intake box is going to look like. It actually sits, like, you know, up around here with all that going. I actually, you know. So, number one free mod you do to this Ram. As you can see, this is actually a very good flowing, uh, very good flowing stock intake. The only thing that's holding you back is the air filter in here. And that is a free mod to do. Now, I haven't had this on. This has been sitting in the garage for years now. I actually took this off very, you know. Very short to when I first got the uh, the Ram, maybe a year or so later. But I'm going to show you a very easy mod to give you a little more power, a little more performance at the track only. I wouldn't recommend driving around like this. Have I done, have I drove around like this? Yes, but I absolutely would not recommend it because anything could suck up in here and into your air filter. A lot of guys probably don't want to do this, but it is a free mod and it will give you a little bit of power. It's not going to be crazy, but you know, as you can see, there's a clip here. Take that off. Clip here. Clip here. Clip here. Remove the front air box, and all you do is just remove the filter. My filter is actually not that bad, <laughs> but the filters are restrictive. Obviously, every any filter is. You know what I mean? Take the air filter out. When you're done at the drag strip, plop it back in, tighten the air box on, go home. I don't know how much it's going to gain you. A lot of guys have gained over a tenth from just that alone. So, you know what I mean? I have a pure track intake. This is my daily setup. I take the filter off when I hit the track also, but I have a tube that goes from here to here for a track intake and mine actually gets routed through the front. It's a full custom track intake. I have a video on how to do that. And if you want to know that, I'll put a link in the description to that video to learn how to do a custom track intake. You just need to buy your own piping and you know basically know what you're doing to do it. But uh, that is the first free mod that is very easy to do. Anyone could do it at the track. And it will give you a little bit of power. It's not going to be anything crazy, you know. And then you just put this back on. I'm doing this with one hand and holding everything, guys. I'm sorry if it's not like, you know, the greatest. You know, so put it back on. If you're not doing it, it's easier to do it with two hands. You get the gist of it. You know, clips are in the way and everything right now. Pop it back on. Put the clips back on and you're done. So that is the number one. That is the number one, probably the easiest free mod to do. 
The number two free mod to do, I'm gonna show you. It's actually it's very easy also, but it just takes a little bit more time than that. All right, now the number two free mod. Very easy, very simple. I'm gonna open the door and you'll know right away. Interior. These Rams are heavy trucks and that, you know, I know some people say, don't, why are you racing a heavy truck? Why are you racing a Ram? I always say to each their own. This truck is, is, you know, in my opinion, pretty fast for a truck. The best I've done is a 1220. I put a shit ton more mods in this truck this year alone. So we're going to try and get that 11 second pass, but quad cab Rams, true cab Rams. Easiest thing to do, remove the back seat. It weighs about 80 pounds, 75 to be exact. Bolts here, bolts here, a couple bolts there. It lifts up off these hooks over there and over there. You lift it up. Have someone help you because I've done it plenty of times and I have some scratches as you can see. Nothing a little paint can't fix or nothing, but this truck basically, you know, almost like a, a purpose built drag truck right now. It was my daily. It is not my daily anymore. You know what I mean? Front seat, take that out. Very simple. If you have the removable center console, like the uh, 4020 split, I take mine out, it's you know, got a little weight to it. If you have like a big horn or anything with the nice full center console, I don't think it can be removed, but it's a pain in the ass from what I know. So all that adds up, man. That adds up to like 400 pounds. Uh, I don't know if it's 400 pounds, maybe with the wheels and tires when I do that. 75 pounds for the uh, rear seat, passenger seat. And this is not even including power seats or nothing. Passenger seat weighed 46, center console weighed 40. Now, I had a bed liner in here with a heavy mat. I actually take that out. Tailgate. Take it off. Very easy. Very simple how to do it. You lift up. You pull out the drag here. Pulls out this. It pulls out this end. You lift up and pull out this end. And this clip here, you know, you just undo it and undo the clip. So, you know, that electric. And I'm not going to get under here, but if anyone knows how to change a tire, lower that tire. Take that spare tire off. That's another 65 pounds. This, I think, weighed, I think, 60, another 65 pounds. Add that up, man. 65, 65. This is just estimated. Rear seat, 75. Passenger seat's almost 50. Center console's 40. So that's that's a good amount of weight. They say every 100 pounds is a tenth at the drag strip. So there you want to go with, say, you remove that air filter. Say that's good for a tenth, the air filter alone. And then you got three, it's called 300 pounds. 300 pounds. You're already almost half of a second faster on a bone stock truck. This is a four door, by the way. If you have a two door, it's not going to be the extra 75 pounds, but it will be close. You will still be faster. That is the number two thing I would do if you are looking to go a little faster in your Ram at the drag strip. Now, the third thing I'm going to show you. It takes you know it can be it can be done, but you may need something else with it to do. But the actual mod is free. All right, guys, this is what comes on all of our Rams. I'm not sure if it comes on the cars. That is the clutch fan. It sits, you can see it. See that rusty little bolt on there to there? That's where it sits. It's rotational weight and mass on the motor. And it comes off with, you know, you have to make something to basically pull it off. Mechanics have like a drill or something, I don't know, that just like undoes the bolt. I had to make something and undo that bolt right there on my hand. It pops off, takes five minutes to actually do. But the reason I say that this, you know, may have something else, I don't know if you could run it, you know, just with it off because it cools the thing. But Jay Green, he tunes it to where, you know, you take that off. The uh, stock AC fan, and I have a 2014, actually cools the motor good enough. Now, most guys will go out and get the V6 fan off the V6 trucks. That's what I recommend doing. I'd go out and get the V6 fan off the V6 trucks and it bolts right up to ours. Here's why I would do that. Because the V6s actually don't come with a clutch fan. You know what I mean? The V6 does not come with a clutch fan. They, and obviously if it doesn't come with a clutch fan, that means their, their AC fan, their electrical fan is powerful enough to cool the motor and run the AC. It is more powerful than ours. And there's the plug for it. I haven't taken mine off. Mine's running off the stock AC fan. If I start having a problem with it, I will definitely buy the uh ac fan or honest to god i will throw this back on this you know may be good for 10 horsepower they say i don't know how much but it is rotational you know add all three of them up if you have it just a tune you know what i mean i don't know if you can run it i've never did it with without it possibly i know you need at least 180 thermostat to do it and that's like 30 bucks 
but just removing the clutch fan is actually free it just takes some time but you may you probably need a tune and you probably need a 180 thermostat alone to run that but you know you could like i said i don't know i've ran it with a tune and a 108 thermostat and jay green my tuner always said nick remove the clutch fan it's a free mod it's free power so that's why i'm calling it free power but like i said it may take um it may take a tune and i know you need a 180 thermostat which you know goes in right there but yeah those three mods guys will for free like you know if you're stock then you got basically if you're bone stock or just have a completely stock truck not tune not nothing you have two mods remove that air filter take out some weight have fun at the drag strip go a little faster that's what i did when i was stock i removed some weight i actually went when i was and you can see my interior is actually missing right now guys because i planned on going to the drag strip here's all my stuff last week and then cecil county canceled on us because of the rules so i still plan on possibly hitting them up this uh now next weekend i can't find a drag strip that is open right now which kind of sucks but yeah it is man there's my truck here's my baby and uh she runs pretty good man we're gonna hope to get in the 11s just waiting on some uh waiting on some tracks to open you know i've done a couple draggy tests i'm getting ones very soon hopefully my man hooks me up with it hopefully it gets here soon i'll do some draggy tests just the way it is it's actually sitting on 100 octane tune right now so it's got a little bit more power but uh yeah we're ready to hit the track all right, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Check the channel out. Check out videos. We do a lot of awesome Ram content. We do some, we did a lot of Mopar content, and we're hoping to add another Mopar to the family very, very soon. But, uh, you know, need you guys to watch the videos, help support the channel, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's, uh, I'll talk to you guys on the next one, man. Peace.